you know, I was actually born and brought up in Andaman Nicobar Islands. For all those who think it's the name of a medicine, no, it is not. It's a place. It's a very beautiful place in the southeastern part of the country, India. A group of islands, beautiful place. Every time I used to go to the beach, love beach. Used to sit there, look over to the beautiful ocean, and relax. But every time, as a child, as a science enthusiast, I wondered, कि ये पानी नीला क्यों है? Why is the ocean blue? I went to the ocean, take a bit of water in my hand. I realized the water is as transparent as the glass, as colorless as a glass. But when I look from far away, I see deep inside the ocean, the sea is blue. That made me curious. And then I swam, 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 bit interior into the ocean. I reached maybe you know a few hundreds of meters from the beach, and I'm just somewhere in the middle of the ocean. And I take a bit of more water in my hand, and then I realize the water is still colorless. Now, out of disappointment, I look back into the shore and I see the water there is now blue. I'm like, what is happening? Is this the reflection of the sky? Then I see the birds flying, and I see no birds flying in the ocean. No idea what's happening. I see an aeroplane flying, no aeroplane flying on the ocean. Then why is the ocean blue? If in case you have been wondering about the same question, then फिर आप सही जगह पे हो. Today we're going to discuss why is the ocean blue. Or in fact, we're going to understand why is any object of the color we see them to be. Let's talk about that. What if I told you that the light we receive from the sun is a combination of all the colors? Would you believe me? Actually, Isaac Newton also said the same thing a long time ago, and no one believed him. So you know what he did? He actually created a disc called as the Newton's disc, which is which is a very simple disc. Let me show it to you. This is how the disc looks like. Correct? You can find this app called as Newton's disc on your phone or on your app. You can make it by yourself by just using a cardboard, coloring with different different colors and everything. So if you look into this particular disc, you see it's a mixture of all the colors. And the moment I start rotating the disc, you will see that it is turning out to be white. You realize that the moment you start rotating the disc, it basically turns out to be white. How amazing is that? This is what we call it as Newton's disc. And with the help of this experiment, Newton actually proved that yes, the light we receive is actually a combination of all the colors, the white light. So now the question comes back again: that why do we see the color of the object as it is supposed to be? For example, an apple. You see the apple as red. Why is that? Because all the white light falling on this apple, you know what happens to it? All the colors of light get absorbed in this apple, except the red color. The red color from this apple bounces back onto my eyes, onto your eyes, and then you see the color of the apple as red when that light, when that reflected light falls in your eyes. The same thing happens when you use a banana. <laughs> Here's a banana. The same thing happens when the light falls on it. All the other colors are absorbed by this particular banana, except the yellow light. And the yellow light now bounces back out of that particular object, and it falls in your eyes, and you see the banana as yellow. Now we see. Well, now we know that you know red, yellow, and blue are the primary colors in the nature. What about secondary colors, sir? For example, the colors which are made up of mixture of you know are different different colors, primary colors. The best example would of that would be, of course, an orange, isn't it? An orange is actually a mixture of red and yellow. So what happens here? Of course, you might have guessed it. When the light falls on it, only the red and yellow light come out of this particular object. And since it's a combination of red and yellow, the color which you see is orange. And that is exactly how you see each and every color of an object in the entire world or in the entire universe. 
So if you want to define why is Vedanta's color seems to be orange, because when the light falls on it, the red and yellow light comes out and you see the color of that as yellow. So why is your uh, hair black sir? Why is your t-shirt black? Here comes out a very interesting question. Now what happens when all the light is reflected back? That when the white light falls on something and all the light reflects back, what happens to it? That is when you see the color of the light as white because all the light is reflecting back from the object and the mixture of all the light gives you white color. Now what happens if all the light is absorbed by the object? That is when you see the object as black because no light is coming out. Now wonder why black holes are called as black holes? Because they're actually black. No light comes back and that's why we see it as black. You know what? You also have a black hole in your eyes. You know that? The pupil, exactly the center of your eye, is also a sort of a black hole because the light entering into it does not come back. And that's why you see at the center of your eye, the pupil is black in color. So with the help of the concept of reflection of light, my dear, you can actually define each and every color of the light in the entire universe. And that is what brings down us to the topic with which we started the entire session with is why is the ocean blue? The ocean is majorly blue because of the reflection of light happening in the ocean. When the light falls in the ocean, all the wavelengths of light is actually absorbed by the sea itself except the blue light and the blue light bounces back of the ocean and it falls in our eyes and then we see the ocean as blue in color. Now sometimes you might be seeing uh, the ocean actually being in green or in red also. Why is that? That's because of the microorganisms such as the algae and everything living on the ocean surface. So when they have to rush on them, because the light reflects on the green color, you can see the ocean green, you can see the ocean red too. So here is why the ocean is blue. Here is why any object in the entire world is blue. But, 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 but because there is a minor thing more, a very interesting concept more called as the scattering of light. And that is the fundamental reason why we see the sky as blue. Kabhi socha hai ki sky blue kyo hota hai? Is it also because of reflection? Socha hai kabhi? Socha nahi to socho abhi. And that is exactly going to be the next video's topic people. That why is the sky blue and what exactly is scattering of light? So until then, this is Abhishek signing off for today. Do not forget to hit the like button, share this video, subscribe to the channel right now. Let's beam up this science channel so that each and everyone out there knows that this exists and they can take the best of knowledge out there because no matter which grade you are in, science is science. Isn't it? We'll see you guys in the next one, people. Until then, peace.